Hello, my name is Ashlyn Tenario. I am from the pueblos of Santo Domingo and Laguna. I am currently a senior at the Santa Fe Indian School, and I am here on behalf of True Kids 1 to discuss a section of the panel where Jeanette feels really discouraged. Um, she talks about the struggles she's faced going into the music industry. You know, her being a young Native American woman, she faced a lot of ageism being told that it's not for her and she's too young to be doing it but instead of letting that discourage her she used it as motivation to push herself <clears throat> and continue to grow as a person and i think that's really admirable you know showing some integrity to who you are and staying true to yourself and that's such a beautiful thing as a um, woman musician have you faced any kind of challenges I absolutely face challenges as being a female indigenous musician. Um, you know, I absolutely was not taken seriously <laughs> a whole lot of the time growing up. You know, when I first started playing music, I was told that uh, girls couldn't play the bass, that we weren't, uh, that girls were not, that girls and basses just anatomically did not fit. And I was told that if I wanted to play the, the bass, that I'd have to cut my hair. And I was like, wait, Slash has really long hair and he plays guitar. You know, I didn't have a lot of women role models that were uh, that were rock at that time growing up. Um, and I was really into Guns N' Roses. And so, uh, so you know, for me, like going into... Uh, going into music, like I realized that I, I loved the sound of the bass. I loved the sound of the instrument and that if I wanted to play it, that I was going to have to teach myself. Um, and so a lot of, um, for me, I definitely, I faced all kinds of different discriminations and also ageism too, because I, you know, my brothers and I, we were so young when we started playing music. So we definitely did face a lot of challenges. But from that, I feel like, you know, like I like we grew like if they weren't they were challenges is what they were. They were not obstacles. Just being a young man, having long hair, having pierced ears, even that criticism, just everything was like you have to cut your hair. If you want to play sports, you have to cut your hair. If you want to participate, if you want to <clears throat> of this Western civilization, you know, you have to assimilate. And that was kind of the just the understanding to be indig indigenous. You couldn't be your traditions. You couldn't be of the past. You had to kind of surrender all that you were to be part of this modern world. And that was always the struggle that, that we faced growing up. You know, we couldn't just be traditional and even singing our songs or being a sheep herder, all those things were, were strikes against you. You know, just being poor, impoverished and living on the reservation, that was a strike against you. So all those, those just seemed like, you know, like as my sister was, sister was saying, you know, it's, they were not just challenges. They're, they're not, you know, we didn't see them as a barrier. It gave us strength that empowered us and helped us kind of find more of a, a voice in our music. That's when we started turning up the amps to like 10 and we start cranking out some punk rock, you know, heavy thrash kind of sounds that just really projected what we were feeling. 